Columbia University might be one of the most polarizing colleges in America. And even though this place has been ranked higher than Yale, Harvard, and Stanford in the past few years, Columbia's reputation is absolutely plummeted in the past few months. You see, Columbia admissions officers have been faking their numbers for years trying to stay atop the US news rankings. But ever since their deceptive ways have been exposed, the school has been hit with a bunch of lawsuits, tons of assault allegations, student suspensions, a destroyed reputation, and a drop in the rankings by over 16 spots. But even though Columbia has been through the absolute worst this past year, they still boast a whopping 6% Acceptance rate. So, in order to find out just how prestigious this place really is, we're back in New York City to do one thing and one thing only ask the students how the hell they got in here. So, I don't want to play any games here. You know, I want to cut right to the chase. You got to be honest with me, though, okay? What'd you eat for breakfast this morning? I'm gonna be honest here. I didn't have time to eat breakfast this morning. So. What? So I did not eat breakfast this morning. Haven't had breakfast yet. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. The most balanced meal. I was gonna get a coffee and a croissant and go study a baller. Hey, okay, that sounds like a plan. Cupcakes, boiled eggs, and a Chobani, a Chobani yogurt. So Chobani, if you wanna sponsor me, Shout hit the out. DMs, hit the DM. All right, you feel warmed up now? Ready to get into the good stuff? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, sweet, let's do it. So first question, what is your name? Where are you from? And how many years have you been in Columbia? So my name is Andy, Andrea, Cheery, Grace, Julian, Joe, Holden, Ashton. I'm from upstate New York. I'm from the Bronx. I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey. Portland, Oregon. Stafford, Virginia. Berkeley, California. Chicago, Illinois. Shenzhen, China. From Columbia, Sunny Columbia. Perrysburg, Ohio, which is in the northwestern corner of the state. And I'm a first year at Columbia College. This is my second year. First year. First year. Third year. I'm a freshman. I'm a sophomore. I'm a junior. I graduated this past May, actually. All yeah. right, congratulations. Yeah. So your name's Ashton and you're you're a junior. Yes. That is literally my name and my age too. What? Your name? You're Ashton? Yes, bro. Oh, wow. That is crazy. Look at that small world. See, I knew I'd get along with you. And what was your number one reason for coming to Columbia? I think the fact that I got in. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I thought it would sound great to say I'm from Columbia and I went to Columbia. Honestly, it's probably the location of the campus. I'm a city boy basically, so I needed to be in the city. I wanted to be in the city. I just like the city. It was also close to home. New York City, you're in the best city in the world. It's in New York, so there's a lot of opportunities here. I mean, being in the bustling city has been always a dream of mine. New York City is such a great place to live. The location's super great. We're both swimmers on the swim team, yeah. so that was obviously a big reason. I actually play on the football team here. It's Ivy League school in New York City doesn't get much better than that. My parents wanted me to go to an Ivy League, so here I am. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Making mom proud. I love it. I just felt like Columbia offered me the most different experience from the ones I've had so far. My whole family went to Columbia, honestly, so it was a big inspiration to come. Here. I know it's like not so popular here, but like I kind of like the one to go for the core. Core curriculum. We call it the core curriculum where we have to like read a lot of like literature books, study a lot of history, politics, civilization. You get taught things that you don't know what the fuck they are, but then somehow you make sense of it. Man, that's life and. Oh uh, man, hopefully I graduate. <laughs> <laughs> and building off of that, on a scale of 1 to 10, how happy are you with that decision? I would actually give it like a 8.5 if I'm going to be honest. An 8.5. I would say like an 8 or 9. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, it's been a good ride. Probably 8. I'd say 8. I think it's 8. I don't regret the decision. But when I was in school, my answer would have been different. What yeah. about when you were in school? What would you say? Probably a 4. <laughs> I would say at this point of the year, it's 5 to 6-ish. But if you asked me this question a month earlier, maybe a 7 to 8. Mostly because like in the the winter the the sun sets really early and then like it also coincide with midterm season so it could get really depressing around campus you come to columbia for academic rigor and you're gonna get academic rigor lots of late nights in the library <laughs> it's just that the core is getting me yeah. i will say lit hum anyone you ask over there's gonna tell you lit hum is getting the best of you Ooh. yeah that sounds hard that's <laughs> that's more for me i'm gonna be honest it's a 10. i would say a 10. 10. 10 out of 10. definitely a 10. i don't think i would be happier anywhere else very happy there's no reason i shouldn't be man this has been the best thing ever. I was excited. I was jumping all around the room, screaming to my mom that I got in. I never actually visited Columbia before I came here, so moving in, it's just such a beautiful campus. The classes are amazing. The professors are so down to earth. I used to not think like this was gonna be something that I would take on, but man, God's plan. I'm so glad I did. Now I get to meet presidents of nations, like in that library right behind us. Where else do you have president of New York City jumping in the New York City subway, eating New York City pizza? Absolutely. It's New York or nowhere, people. New York or nowhere. It's God's plan. Hey, but you, you still got to come to Missouri and vote for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, you got into Columbia, which means you had some pretty good high school stats. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, what was your GPA, your test scores, and were you in any extracurriculars in high school? My high school GPA? Oh, I don't remember. I think in high school I had a 4.9. 
And then my GPA was uh, three nine or four zero. Oh. Three point nine seven. Four point one. Four point two, I believe. I think I had a four three. Four point four nine. Four point four five four. Unweighted was a four point one, and weighted was a five point two. I maintained an A minus average. I first came to high school, didn't speak English, and had like a two point zero at the beginning freshman year, and then learned English to go to AP classes, and then got a perfect score ever since, and graduated university at nineteen. Wow. Yeah. That's a huge come up story. Holy shit. Test scores, I got a 1540. 1550. 1520. 1570. A 1570. 1580. 1400. So I actually applied your test optional. Had a lower SAT score. I had a 1370, I think. That's why I applied to dual degree. My SATs undisclosed, confidential. What was the other? Oh, extracurriculars. Honestly, I didn't do any extracurriculars besides swimming. Extracurriculars, I was basically the typical like NHS, but I did work with the governor of Illinois and representative and senators. I was the captain of the Science Olympia team at my high school for two years. I was also the founder and president for the photography club. I played frisbee. I did some political work. I did speech and debate, a mock trial, as well as youth leadership Toledo. Like three years of track, took that pretty seriously, and also did a lot of activities with like Latin. Do you speak any Latin? Yeah, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. Solite nomen mihi est Ellen. Ooh, I don't know what that means, but I like it. I was in Model UN. I did mock trial for all four years. I was co-founder of a Young Democrats club at my high school and then I did varsity diving. I was JV runner and also black belt in jiu-jitsu all four years as well. Holy shit. Damn, you really check all the boxes yeah, here. So, you know, don't worry too much about test scores. Obviously, it's important, but, you know, there's other factors. It's a holistic application for a reason. Yeah, absolutely. And I have one final question for you guys here. What is the craziest story you've heard while you've been in Colombia? Craziest story? I have to think about this one. Uh, I don't know if this is appropriate to say. Um, Dude, I don't know. I mean, the craziest story. Uh, well, the goddamn TA strike. Yeah, I had a friend that was woofing in Hawaii, and he was, like got stuck in some cult on a banana farm. On the library, there's some guy that comes here every day and tries to flip a water bottle with his feet into a trash can, I think. Basically, during like final season, the band goes into like the library or something and interrupts students when they're studying. I, I've heard, you know, people like to be in the stacks for reasons other than studying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the TH strike was happening and then so we didn't have any discussion sections and only lectures. My friend was in Lee Bollinger's class on the First Amendment and then a fuck ton of students busted in and started shouting Fuck Lee Bollinger. To which he said, he sat there and he went, That's why the First Amendment is hard, kids. There is a guy who flips bottles into trash cans. Does he happen to do it with his feet? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> we've heard about him today. Yeah, he seems like a pretty cool guy. There's yeah. also, like, you know, a BDSM club here. <laughs> no, there's not. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, all right, that is definitely That's top in the list. This one, 100%. I want you to zoom in for focus, okay? Some kid that got born in a third world country comes here, dominates Colombia, and gets his sister elected to Missouri's Secretary of State. That's gonna be the craziest story for the ages, and I'm saying that right here, right now, at Columbia University. At Columbia, where else, bro? Hey. Where else? <sighs> New York City, man. You really can't beat this shit. And if there's anything we learned today, stay away from stacks, flip some bottles with your feet, and please, for the love of God, if you live in Missouri, vote for my man's sister. Flip some bottles with your, flip some bottles with your feet, flip some bottles with your, fuck me, that's hard to say.